Hey guys, in today's video I will show you how to take the derivative of functions using the power rule, the product rule and the chain rule together, kind of a crazy concoction, if you will. Say you have been given this function 2x minus 3 squared times x plus 5 raised to the third power cubed and you need to find dy dx or y prime so anyhow you need to find the derivative of this function so it could be done in multiple ways and i believe this the shortest way is just use the product rule power rule and the chain rule i mean if you try to open up the parentheses and distribute multiply everything out collect like terms it would take lots of time and you might also make mistakes at this point so if you have this the entire time in the this world go ahead and try to fold it out multiply it out because you see you have the square and you have the third power so first of all you need to raise to this power and after multiply it together so it would be a nightmare a disaster if you will so the surefire way the shortest way that will give you that derivative is just applying first of all the product rule since you are given two factors you are given two functions namely the first one is gonna be this power of this inside of this 2x minus 3 so this entire bracket is raised to the second power so that's gonna be your first function let's call it u for the sake of convenience and the second term the second factor it's gonna be the second parenthesis the second bracket mean x plus 5 entirely raised to the third power so basically recall that the product rule for derivative says if you are given two factors let's say u and v all it says that you need to take the derivative of the first factor of the first term u times the second function the second factor as is v untouched unchanged plus you need to take the first function as is unchanged and this function gets multiplied by the derivative of the second factor. Now, let's apply this product rule again. Since you have two factors, you have two expressions or two functions, if you will, being multiplied together. Because here we have implied, it's understood to be multiplication. Now, Look at the first function. We need to take the derivative of u first. You have a power, so we need to apply a power rule to this u. So u derivative dy dx becomes. So you need to apply the power rule, and again recall that basic d d d d d and recall that basic derivative rules that the power rule says you need to bring this power down as a coefficient out front of your term and reduce this power by one so knock it down by one so this two basically comes out front and it becomes two and i'm going to keep this argument in this case it's 2x minus 3 as is and i'm going to reduce your power by one so 2 minus 1 becomes basically 1 now, since you are given a composite function, it's not just x, it's some expression raised to the second power. So your function is made off of basically two functions. You have power, which is going to be your outside function, and you have inside function, which is a linear function, to be more precise. It's 2x minus 3. So you have to apply the chain rule at this point. And chain rule says you need to take the derivative of the outside function. Basically, we did just now. So the derivative of outside function. Again, outside function is a power. So you need to use a power rule. Now, also this, the derivative of outside function gets multiplied by the derivative of inside function. Now, 
your inside function is 2x minus 3. So you need to take the derivative of 2x minus 3. And recall that 3, negative 3 to be more precise, is a constant and the derivative of a constant is just 0. So negative 3 goes away, disappeared. The derivative of x is just 1 and you're going to be left with just 2. So this again 2 comes from the derivative of inside function. Now, this is your just u prime, and this one gets multiplied by v, by the second function is this. So, gets multiplied by x plus 5 cubed. So, this function I'm going to write as this. And we are done with the first term. Now, moving on, plus, according to the product rule. Now, I'm going to rewrite the first function, u, as this. So 2x minus 3 squared goes as is. And at this point, I'm going to take the derivative of v of the second factor or the second term, if you will. So again, you have power. So v basically is your power, it's, which is 3. I'm going to use a power rule. And again, power rule says bring this power in front as a coefficient. So gets multiplied by 3. And reduce this power by 1. Knock it down by 1. So you want to keep this x plus 5 as is. You don't want to change it. And 3 minus 1. So you could basically write 2 instead of this. I am just wanted to spell everything out and emphasize. Now. To be more precise, again, you have to use the chain rule at this point, since you have something raised to the power. You, have, you, you, are, not, you are not given just x. You have x plus 5. You have expression. But if you look at this expression closely, and if you take the derivative of x plus 5, the derivative of x plus 5 is just 1. So basically, the chain rule does not affect to your answer. So this expression gets multiplied by 1. So again, officially, technically, you have to use the chain rule. I'm going to repeat myself because this is vitally important. But since the same reason as we did before, since you have something raised to a power. So you have a composite function, your function is consist of another function, of linear function. So your function is made of, of power and linear function. But, however, if you take the derivative of inside function, this derivative gives you 1. And anything by 1 is just this anything. So whatever you have here gets multiplied by 1. So you still be left with this expression x plus 5 to the second power. So chain rule does not affect. And by the way, if you still confused and get stuck with the chain rule, I do have a special video on the chain rule, how to distinguish, how to decide when you should use the chain rule and when you should not. I do have a separate video on this, it's called the little game, chain rule to be or not to be, and I will link it down below in the description box, and if you're up to this, go ahead and check it out later. Technically, we are done, this is your derivative, but we need to clean it up, so we don't want to leave the house like this. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to combine terms, I'm going to multiply this constant, and also I'm going to clean up this power. So go ahead, 2 times 2, you're going to be left with 4, 2x minus 3, it's going to be 2 minus 1 gives you 1, so your power becomes 1, so we normally, typically, we're going to just neglect this power. You want to keep this, this term, x plus 5 raised to the third power. Now, moving on, plus, I'm going to write and pull this coefficient, this constant 3 in front, since you have only one constant. You want to keep this 2x minus 3 squared, and you still have this x plus 5, 3 minus 1, that would leave you with 2. So your power becomes 2. Alright.
right, we are not done yet. So these kind of problems require factoring since you have common terms, common expressions that basically can be pulled out in front, can be taken out. And that's, that's kind of, I wouldn't say it's the hardest part, but this kind of problems that require these basic algebra skills, basically, to get it into the simplest form possible or conceivable, if you will. So look at this expression. You have 2x minus 3, and also you have 2x minus 3 to the second power. So 2x minus 3, I'm going to pull out with the first power, with the lowest exponent, which is 1. Also, you have x plus 5 to the cube power, and you have x plus 5 to the second. So I'm going to pull out also simultaneously in one fell swoop x plus 5 term raised to the second power. So let's do it. In the next line of your work, it becomes, so again, 2x minus 3 to the first power, so typically we don't write first power, and also x plus 5 to the second power. So what's left over? I'm going to write kind of a big parenthesis, if you will. So don't forget this coefficient, don't lose it. So we have 4. 2x minus 3 is taken out, we have 1 instead of this. So you have x plus 5 goes inside with the first power, since x plus, x plus 5 squared is taken out, pulled out. Now, plus, you want to keep this constant 3, 2x minus 3 is taken out, is, is pulled out with the first power, so you have 1, 2x minus 3. And x plus 5 is taken outside of your parentheses with the second power. So you have 1 from this term. So basically, nothing. Now, you want to keep this part as is. And you want to just clean up inside of this big parentheses. So you want to simplify it down as much as you can. So apply your basic algebra skills. All you do at this point, you want to open up the parentheses, so you have basically two kind of small parentheses inside. So you want to open it up, distribute it out, foil it, and multiply everything out. So remember when you have a constant in front, outside, so you want to distribute it over both terms inside. So the same applies for the second term. And after you need to combine like terms. So it becomes 4x plus 20 from the first term plus 6x minus 9. And finally, you want to combine like terms. So 4x and 6x that would leave you with 10x. 20 minus 9, you are going to left with just 11, positive 11. That's left over after cleaning up these big parentheses. And you want to just rewrite your first part, your first portion, your first chunk of your basically the final answer. So uh, you want to keep it. So 2x minus 3 and x plus 5 squared. So this chunk, chunk and these two chunks, they obviously come together. So that's gonna be your final answer after factoring. So when we pulled out these common factors, namely 2x minus 3 and x plus 5 to the second, Power. That was your factoring at these kind of problems. Many people trip up when they do this pulling out. So just be careful and pay attention when you take out these common expressions, these common factors, and pay attention what goes inside of your parentheses because 
honestly, to be perfectly frank with you, there are lots of things, lots of nitty gritty, lots of things going around, especially when you apply the chain rule, these coefficients, these numbers, these like terms coming up. So just be patient and pay attention to every little thing over there. All right, I hope it has been helpful to you. Huge thanks for watching and to your brain. And I know everyone hates my butt. If you like my video, please hit this like, share with your friends, leave the comments down below and be sure to smash that subscribe button if you haven't, so you will not miss out my new videos. Functions using the power rule. Lock. Start over. How to... Lord, how to take. How to take the power rule, the not the quotient, the product, and